Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another AliExpress haul. Yes, I got more items. Um, I did get a couple dice. Let me let me grab them quick. I'm gonna start out with those two. They are so adorable. I just love them. <laughs> I forget, you know how this one is called. It always comes out of my mind and then it pops back in because this is a little deer. I guess it's Bambi. I would say right and um those are little trees i'm gonna take them out because i have my little piece of paper here how much it was the trees were one dollar fifteen and oh my god i think i cut off my trees <laughs> yes i did i wanted to use them somewhere oh okay so we have one tree cut out <laughs> i don't know what happened to the rest of it i'll probably put it aside because I thought, hey, after I show it, I'm going to put it somewhere. But I don't see it anymore. So, however, you can imagine how the trees are because I do have one tree here. I'm really wondering because I just got them yesterday. What did I do with my trees? But this is how they are going to look like. Oh, I think they are so cute because they are very narrow. Is that narrow, thin? I don't know how to call that. They are very, very different from everything else that I have. I mostly have those white trees, you know, that do look like a Christmas tree. And I'm looking around me and I'm, I cannot find the trees. <laughs> I think this one came out separately and those three I stuck together. And I probably put them somewhere. Okay, however, um... The trees were $1.15. If I find the links, I will link it in the description down below. Plus, I want to say that they do change their prices, of course. Plus, once again, I want to say for those who just, you know, tuned in and never watched my channel, um, AliExpress charges shipping. But if you buy a couple things from the same seller, a lot of times you will not have to pay shipping. So pay attention to that. Put it in your cart and um, click buy and then look what changes. Because I didn't buy a lot of items because each item was like 50 cents shipping. And then I found out that if you combine them, your shipping goes away. So... Keep this in mind. Those are the little trees and I'm going to measure them. They are, the longest one is three and a half inches, you know, and they are really, really tiny. They are under half an inch wide. So I love this. I love, do I have a card? Oh my God, I have such a mess on my desk that I can't find a pocket letter size card. I believe this is ATC size. Two and a half by three and a half. Yes, this is ATC size card and it's perfect. Pocket letter size. It's perfect. You know, I love it. I love that. And there is my little deer. Let's get him out as well. I did cut him. Like, oh, I know why. <laughs> like, why did I cut him like that? So if you cut him out, you will get a little, I don't know, this could be an ornament on his, um, what is this called? Somebody message me or comment down below and tell me what the what this part of a deer is called. I forget. Or it's perfect for the nose. First I cut out this and then I realized that this was probably for the nose. But at the beginning I thought that was a little ornament <laughs> to hang down there. But there is the nose and you can also cut those out in a different color and just paper piece it. In my room, um, it's it's just so messy that I cannot find my little scissors. I cannot find anything, actually. So let's just <laughs> say that. <laughs> so what you would need to do is just... And this is just a little demo, so I'm not doing it perfect. You just cut out those things, I'm going to call them. I know that I know the name, but I just don't remember. However, you cut them out in a darker piece of paper and you stick them on top so you can paper piece your deer a little bit. And then for the nose, of course, the red nose, because it's going to be Rudolph, I guess. So, and you change everything, just a little bit of paper piecing and you change everything. You can also cut more of the brown paper, of the darker paper, and stick it in the back. This is a little too big, I think, but 
you get the idea. If you just stick a smaller piece there, then the dots are going to be um, darker as well. It's going to look better. Or for the eye, or you can make a black eye or something. <laughs> yeah, make a black eye <laughs> for the deer, you know. If I, let me just do this real quick, just for the demos, just so you can see that there is different things you can actually do with your dyes. I'm going to put it right here. And then I would need small scissors to cut around it. I don't have any. So, you know, just stick it on your piece of paper and cut around the shape. Or you just cut the paper much smaller and cut it first and then glue it down. So I didn't do a perfect job here. Just don't pay attention. But you get what I mean. Just paper piece it a little bit and you will get something really pretty. You could put a little bit of snow onto his whatever it's called and my glue is coming out again i'm hating this no matter what i do for some reason it keeps coming out okay so there is that let's just move on because i'm gonna stay here forever if i don't those are really really cute where is my pocket letter card so look it's just perfect i love the tiny things I don't know. <laughs> I love tiny dies if they are not too difficult to make. It's around two inches by, yeah, two inches. So there is that. Let's just move on real quick. Put them all aside. Lose them all <laughs> in my in my mess. And I want to show you something else. I did get a stamp. And let me see if I have a piece of paper here. Yeah, I used this one last time. So I can just use it again. Oh, I can still use it here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Those are clocks. And I think they are amazing looking. I don't know how they stamp, but they do look really, really cool. I like that they um, have four different clocks. And, of course, it's almost impossible to rip them off once again. I hate this part because it hurts my hands. But, you know, it's just the first time... And you just have to rip. If this happens to you at the beginning, I was scared to rip anything off. I thought that it's going to rip the stamp, but it didn't. You know, actually, my very first stamp was like this. And I bought it at Joanne's. And it was, I don't know, it was some, some big company that the stamp was from. So it does not happen just to AliExpress. However, it's a lot of work. So let's just stick them down here. Oh, I think I love the biggest one most. Oh, the small one is really... <laughs> I love them all, just for now. Before I stamp them out, they all look really cool. Okay, let's see if we can stamp them this way. Can we? We will get it done. This one doesn't stick to my... Not completely to my plate. We will see if this is just for now because I just ripped it off and kind of bent it or if it's going to stay this way. Did I tell you that I'm going to put the links down below just in case you are interested? So look in the description and let's stamp this. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. I did like this one a lot and it turned out really cool. I'm going to show you a close up. So this is how it looks like. Oh, I like this one. I like this one too. I did get stickers from, from a last haul, I believe. Um, They looked like this one. This one is good. This one is kind of dark, but I think if you do this one with heat embossing, this could be really cool because everything would be just raised up. You know, if you heat emboss this, only the little parts are going to be raised up. But I'm going to try this out one day to heat emboss this one. So let me measure them for you real quick. It's around two and a quarter for the biggest one. And then we have the one I wanted to heat emboss. It's one and three quarters. And this one is one and three quarters as well. And this little, I don't know, do you call it like pocket watch or something it's one and a quarter so really really cool I'm glad that I have a good organization system for my um, stamps because otherwise it's just gonna fall off 
If you haven't seen my organization system and I don't forget, I will put a card up there so you can watch it. But this is going to keep it flat in my system anyway, so I'm not very worried about that. But it really sucks because look at that. This is how it's going to be. <laughs> and if you just keep them somewhere, this is going to be upsetting. Look at that. I still have the other ones done here because, of course, I didn't clean my room. But this is how it looks like. So, yeah. You have lived with uh, to live with that for the price of what 79 cents or what did i say was that the right price from this stamp i believe so yeah so that was it for today and um i'm going to oh no i'm lying i have another one <laughs> i almost lied to you i have another one there you go i did get a stencil as well and I wanted to show you the stencil because it's so pretty. It was one dollar. Yeah, exactly. It, it went really good with the clogs. How did I forget you, you little one? I knew I had more than those items. But, however, let's just take it out and I'm going to show you. It's different because this part of the gears, it's not... I don't know how to explain it. Normally, there would be plastic... And the gears are the ones that are showing up in color. And this one has the all around it that will show up in color. And the gears are plastic. So let me see if I can show it to you. I'm going to use some distress ink right here. Oh, this is pretty big. So maybe I should just find some washi tape and hold it down. At least a little bit, you know, so it doesn't move around too much on my paper and I don't mess up too much but this is how it's gonna look like I'm not doing a perfect job here you know this is just a demo of course you can use paint or sprays or anything really and make it much better do a much better job than I do I'm just gonna do whatever I have right here <laughs> okay I think that's enough to see Let's see, pick it up, peel it up, pick it up, and this is how it's going to look like. So the part with the gears is going to stay whatever color your background was, and all around it is going to get the color. <sighs> I hope you get it. And, you know, if you use Distress Ink, it's such a breeze to clean it up. <laughs> you just put it in water and it comes up clean. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. And leave me a comment down below, even if it's just a smiley. I love it when I open my app and there is a smiley. It makes me smile. So if you don't mind, you can leave me one and enjoy your day. I see you soon. Bye-bye.